hi welcome to another microsoft excel tutorials in this video we are going to use a very cool and exciting function in microsoft excel to combine two worksheets together and this is very simple without using the manual way of copying and pasting data you want to create a dynamic worksheet or a relationship between two worksheets and without any further ado let's jump right in and see how to combine two worksheets together Now, I have this worksheet which says employee info 2 and these are the data in this worksheet. I have the employee ID, phone number, hourly wage, hours worked and salary. And my manager is insisting that I should move this data from this worksheet into our employee dashboard. This is where we have the employee information and we also have the employee ID and the employee name so for the manager or the boss of this company to easily assess or analyze this data he wants us to combine these two worksheets together and he wants to have this worksheet organized in this employee dashboard therefore I am going to move all this data into this main dashboard you can use the traditional way or the manual way that is to select all the data then you copy and move to this area and paste it into this worksheet but one downside of this option is that when you have a change in any of this value there's no change that is going to happen in the main dashboard so if I change this number to 7 and hit the enter key and I move back to this information I have this data still being static so we are going to use a very cool function known as the VLOOKUP to combine this worksheet into a single worksheet so let's select this and hit the delete key on the keyboard now to have this perfectly done, we are going to select this data and give a name to this data, which is known as a name range. So let's select the first cell, hold the control key and the shift key plus the right arrow key to select the first row. Because we want to select the entire data, we can also use the control key, the shift key and the down arrow key. And that is going to select this data for you. In a simple way, you can select any cell within the data and hold control plus a and now we have this data selected now to give a name to this data move to the name box and select this name box now we have this b4 selected and let's give a simple name to this data and i'm going to call this list then you hit the enter key now we have this data being named as list using the name range so if you select this data you see we have the cell address as a1 but if i select all this data i'm going to have the cell name as list so now that we have this done let's proceed to the next step go back to the employee dashboard and now we want to have the colon header for all the data we have in the second worksheet so what we do is we select this copy this and move to our dashboard select this cell uh, hold control plus v to paste so that we can have the colon header of our data so let's adjust our colon using the separators now everything is well organized now we want to pull all this data from this worksheet into this dashboard so to do this select this cell which is c3 and 
let's type the vlookup function so you are going to start with the equal to sign now we have this vlookup and that gives us the screen tape we want to find the lookup value and also the next argument is the table array the column index and also the range lookup to have a clear description of this function let's hold the control key and the letter a on the keyboard and this is going to open the function argument dialog box and this is the vlookup now the first argument is the lookup value and that is the employee id so i'm going to select this when we move to the worksheet we have this id which is consistent in this worksheet therefore we are going to look up to this employee id to pull out all this data under this each column so that is what we are going to do here so we select this so now we have the lookup value as a3 so this function is going to look in this cell and identify whatever content we have in this cell and that is a3 and because we are going to pull down the function down to look up to the other employee ids we want to make some adjustments in this that is to fix the colon and release the row therefore i'm going to click in this cell and hold the functional key f4 on the keyboard and this is going to make this absolute reference that is to lock the colon letter and also the row number and i'm going to change this so let's press the f4 once again once again now we have our colon locked but the row is released therefore if i pull this formula down you are going to have a3 pulling out the information then it moves to a4 a5 continuously so now we are done with the lookup value the table array this is where you are going to select the entire data and previously we have named this data and we gave the name as list so to get this name into this table array field what you do is to press the functional key f3 on the keyboard and this will bring the the paste name dialog box and we have our list in this options so just select it and click on ok now we have this list here and you can see the preview here we have the employee id phone number and other column headers now let's move to the column index number and we want to pull out the phone number the hourly wage the hours worked and the salary and in this worksheet we have column one two three four five therefore omitting this column this is going to be our second column so this is two three four and five so let's go back to our main dashboard so our column index is going to be two so let's type two that is to pull out the four numbers under the column number two therefore you can see that we have a preview here this gives us the first full number of the first lookup value then when you go to the range lookup that is where you decide to have a true or false lookup so we want a false lookup so type false in the field so now let's click on the ok button and you can see that we have this number and that is the first of this employee based on this employee id because we use the employee id as the lookup value so if i drag this down this is going to generate all the phone numbers of the employees in this column header so if i cross check by going to this worksheet you can see that we have this phone number and the last one is ending with these two values one five and the first one is also ending with what eight seven so if i move to my employee dashboard we have the one five and also the eight seven so this function give us the accurate data under this column header and one advantage of this is that when there is a change of this value in this worksheet that is going to affect the main dashboard so if i change this to
and hit the enter key if i go back to my main dashboard you can see that this effect has taken place in this worksheet that is one advantage of using functions in microsoft excel now to generate the data for this column what you do is select this cell and use the fill handle and drag this formula across this source you can see that we have the same data in this cell applied to the other cells which are these three cells we have here now to pull out the hourly wage what you have to do is to select this cell and move to the formula bar because the phone number was at column 2 this is in column 3 4 and 5 so you change this number to 3 and hit the enter key and this is going to pull out the hourly wage now let's change this to currency and double click and that is also going to pull out all the hourly wage of these employees so if i go to the second worksheet i have this 47.00 and i have 2.400 and that is what we have here accurately perfectly done in this worksheet so let's change this to 4 you hit the enter key drag it down and we have all these sets select this cell and change this to 5 and hit the enter key and let's change this to currency and double click so when you move to this you can see that we have this data under the salary column and that is what we have in this worksheet so we have perfectly and accurately organized this data in this main dashboard and this can easily help our manager or the boss to analyze this data i have a video that also combine the vlookup and the indirect function to also organize different data in a different worksheet into a single worksheet and i'm going to drop that link of that video in the description below and also have an end screen of that video in this current video proceed to watch that video at the end of this video and have a fair idea of how to use the vlookup function and also the indirect function to get your data were organized in microsoft excel hope you like this video please give it a like let me see your comments in the comment section and we shall meet in the next video